<sighs> Good morning, everybody. I haven't had this opening in a while, my thinking spot at the pond. I like this little pond. Anyway, we are back at it again. Um, let's see. Oh, got to be at the thinking spot here. Um, let's see. Let's get you caught up here. Uh, first things first. Um, last episode we harvested the oats. Um, beans, you're over, you've already seen me do it before. I took care of the, the grass and silage, so I did get... Let's take a run over here quick. <clears throat> we don't need the chainsaw. <laughs> I think the uh, my my uh, the reason I keep doing that. I think the wheel on my mouse is so sensitive that every when I pick up the mouse, you know, when I'm moving around real fast and I bump it, there there, <laughs> it sets off <laughs> my chainsaw. Uh, anyway, yes, I got the second crop harvested off. Um, I also. Got all the uh, manure and slurry put on there. So that should be ready. I think, if I remember correctly, I think we might get a third crop off of this yet. Because it's only August. August, September, October. Yeah, so maybe November, if we can get it before the snow flies, um, we might get a third crop off of this. So that takes care of that. Uh, also, let's see here. Um, the cows are starting to make a little milk, and if you remember last episode, um, I decided I'm not going to pay for, for the, the, the milk truck or the milk trailer, but I, w I was willing to make a compromise. I got a, a couple different mods downloaded. Uh, the first mod I downloaded was, uh, I did find a small milk truck, but it just... It's super expensive. I mean, I'm not paying for it anyway, but I started playing around with uh, different options and stuff, and it just, it's not the kind of truck that we have around here. Um, this is more like, in like a foreign country, it's just not a northern Wisconsin, United States type of truck we have around here. Um, plus, the capacity's not all that big. It's, I'm thinking, boy, you know, when them cows really start making milk, even if you get the large capacity, it's only 25,000. I'm thinking, I don't want to be making trips back and forth, back and forth. It's, it's a long trip to town on this map. So I did some more looking. Here's the cool compromise I came up with. I want to buy this truck. Uh, I, want to, I want to buy and own it. So I'm going to buy this with the big engine. The biggest engine they got. I think it's the 454. Yeah, make sure we can pull everything. So I'm willing to to eat this. I'll pay for this because I want that truck anyway for hauling other things. So I will buy this. Okay, so we... Oh, I forgot to pick my color. Well, that's all right. I can always repaint it later. <laughs> I was going to pick a different color than what that was. You know what? I still can. Hold on. There. It's like like nothing ever happened. Now we can pick the color. Oh, let's see. What color do I want? We had... Um, it wasn't a Chevy. It was an old... Uh, I want to say it was like a, a F600, I think it was, back on our farm. We didn't use it very much. It just kind of sat out in the back with all the other junk. see but I'm thinking blue Ooh, I like that dark blue that's pretty cool yeah anything's better than the color they had on it so I think we'll buy that so yeah I, I want a good semi for hauling things anyway so I'm, I'm willing to pay for that uh, let's see what was I gonna show you oh yeah uh, the reason I can get away with that Let's see, if you go into your game settings here, uh, is it this one or this one? Yeah, there we go. If you go into this game settings and turn your auto save off, uh, it, it can work both ways. Uh, when you turn this off, you got to remember to save your game. So pick a point, 
where you're playing and make sure you save it because if you don't <laughs> you forget <laughs> guess what you got to start all over again but I, I like the idea of having this feature off that way if there's a major glitch in the game or I do something really 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 stupid that I didn't want to do I can always go back in time a little bit so I always turn that off that's just me so anyway okay so we have uh, getting to the point where I got to tab through a lot of vehicles here so we, I bought the truck we got the truck but I am not paying for the milk trailer that's ridiculous the the uh, milk dealer sh should pay for that so I'm gonna leave the I found a really cool nice looking trailer it's a nice big trailer it should keep us going for a long time so okay it's not uh, not German we're United States or English Canada and there we go milk with the mega extension that'll haul 50,000 liters at a time yes and it is eighty three thousand dollars so we gotta exit out of here first I am going to add eighty three thousand dollars to the There we go. This is just to cover the cost of that trailer. There. And I do believe it ain't much, but I said that every day I'm going to sell the milk, so let's take what little bit of milk we have and let's see if we can get just a teensy weensy bit of money at least something uh, yeah I guess it don't look too bad I was a little bit worried that that little C10 semi would look a little too small for that trailer it, it might a little bit but I think it'll be all right Let's go pick up some milk and bring it back here and see if we can make any money here. It ain't gonna be much, they're just starting out, but at least it's something. Ooh, can I slip in there with that Alice Chalmers in the way? Well, you know what, I think I can back in there. enough to hit the eye. No, it's not. Come on. Why? Oh, I know why. Open cover, maybe? There we go. <laughs> okay. Well, it's only 2,000 liters, but it's a start. Let's go see... And this is going to be my new rule starting uh, every morning when I sleep. That's the first thing I'm going to do in the morning is take a load of milk in. Whatever the price is, I'm taking it in. That's just my own little rule that I made up because to me it's more real that way. Because uh, in real life you can't, really, you can't really hoard milk because milk has a shelf life. It has... Milk does not last long, <laughs> so you can't really hoard milk. You can hoard stuff like oats and stuff like that for a little while, but not milk. So let's go see how much money we make. Well, it ain't going to be much of a paycheck, but at least it's a paycheck. Let's see what we got on our first little bitty load of milk. Well, it's not too bad thousand or thirteen hundred dollars it's not too bad for that little teeny bit of milk what is the price of milk right now anyway just out of curiosity I don't think it's very high in the summer I think it peaks in the winter uh, uh, actually it's not that bad right now and it's on the rise so and it doesn't fluctuate all that much it always hovers around that six hundred to seven hundred dollars so yeah okay 
Yeah, right now it's 679, and what's the peak? 700 something. So, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, hey, we're not going to sell until January. I think most of the stuff is. What about oats? Yeah, that's. So, right around December, January seems to be the peak of everything. What about uh, soybeans? Oh, soybeans is the only one we get to sell in the summer. So, okay. Um, let's see. I should find a nice place to park this. Like the forklift, this milk tank is, is part of the, the, the dealership here, or the store. It's, it's theirs, not ours. I think we could park it here. Just looks like a nice place to park it. I decided to pay for the truck because I can use the truck to haul my, you know, I might, eventually I might buy a trailer for oats and stuff like that. Uh, it looks like looks like a nice place to park it for now. There, I think I'll even leave the truck here for now. Okay, so we took care of the milk. Um, I don't think there's much else I can do until. Uh, I just want to double check everything here. Okay, yeah, the corn and uh, soybeans are still growing. I already fertilized this field. I uh, can't replant oats until spring. We took care of the cows pretty much. Although I got I got to keep a close eye on that. Uh, I just want to feed them just enough hay to get by because corn will be harvesting that in a couple months. So I think what I'll do. Just so they don't get away from me here. I think I'm going to slowly fast forward time. Feed them a little bit of hay if they need it. And let's get into September. Take another load of milk. Get into October. Take another load of milk. And then by then the corn should be ready. So I'll be back with you in October. And good morning. It is a nice, beautiful, sunny morning in October. Taking our load of milk for the morning here. I'm hoping this will be enough to buy us. we got to buy one more thing before we can continue our daily thing here. Oh yeah, I think we're going to get enough. Yeah, uh, I, I said once this milk starts, and they're, they're just starting out. Uh, we're going to start making some pretty decent money off this milk once it keeps rolling in like this. Um, if we check the cow status here, um, we only got 40. It should be switching over to 80 here pretty soon. But uh, yeah, and then when we switch them to total mixed ration, which we're going to do today also, that's why they're, the hay I got down to just barely enough to feed them. So, alrighty, let me park the milk trailer. We should have more than enough money to to get the uh, other accessories you need to get going on the corn. The corn is ready for chopping, so we got a lot of corn chopping to do. Help park the milk trailer here for now. So it should be a good fun day. I've been looking forward to this day for quite some time. That's my favorite time of year is harvesting. Harvesting, chopping corn, taking care of the, the soybeans. So Let's go talk. Oh no, we gotta get we gotta get the tractor up here first. There's a couple of things we gotta do to get ready here. Let's take a quick look at it, that beautiful corn. Yeah, I am so looking forward to chopping that. I just I love this part of the game. That is some lovely looking corn. Oh, isn't that beautiful? No weeds. Fully, we should get a good yield off of that. I'm so looking forward to chopping that. Okay, let's get let's get to it here. First thing we got to do is we got to get the hay header off the chopper and switch to the corn header, which I got to buy yet. I didn't buy the corn header for the chopper yet, but we're gonna do that right now. Ooh, this is so much fun. This is my favorite part of the game. Is 
harvesting corn. Okay. Let's see, where can we put that hay header for now? I think I'll put it... I think I'll put it kind of here in the weeds, where it's out of the way. That looks like a nice spot. Let's see... And there we go. Oh, and there's one more thing I forgot to add to this chopper. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think of that when I bought it. This is this is pretty important if you're chopping corn. If you notice, there's a there's a little thing missing here on the end here. This is pretty important when you chop corn. I think I can get it here. If I go into customize here. If I can't get it here, I'll get it up at the shop. But I think I can do it here. There's a little box that needs to be added here. Customize. Yeah, this is pretty important when you're chopping corn, otherwise it won't chop the the corn oil processor. See that little box that gets put on the side there? This little guy chops up the 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 the, 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 the corn seeds into a finer kind of just you know what I mean if you're a farmer. Gotta have that. That's pretty important. Okay, so we got that. Now, do we have enough money for just barely? <laughs> uh, at least we got enough money for it, though. There, now we got the corn header. Talk about just squeezing by. <sighs> Alrighty. Alright, it's kind of a long trip back to the store, so I will be back when I got the new corn header. Ooh, brand new corn header. That'll chop some corn. Let's see, ooh, I better get some gas, or not gas, get some diesel too. Do I have enough money to get some fuel? Why well, talk about just barely, barely skimming by? <laughs> well, <laughs> right at zero. We have no money at all. Should have enough fuel to chop some corn, though. Just get by until tomorrow morning, then we can take another load of milk in. Hopefully we can start making uh, enough where we can start uh, paying the bank bank back a little bit. As we slowly pay the bank down, we'll, we can get them interest rates back down a little bit. Anyway, let's get to chopping some corn. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It's my favorite part of the game is chopping corn. Um, I'm guessing this poor little tractor is going to struggle a little bit on this hill till I can afford the bigger tractor. Um, Eventually, when I make a little more money, let's see, where is the one I want? I think it's the 7100, or it's the 7200. Yeah, the uh, Case Magnum series. I do eventually want to get this. That, that'll handle the, the corn chopper. But uh, that's going to be a little while yet. The price ain't too bad either, 35000 so eventually I will get that. But for now, let's just see, hopefully this old girl can handle it. Let's see, we got to get things lined up just so here. This is my favorite part, I just love chopping corn. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, let's see... Actually, it's handling it pretty well. I'm surprised. Yeah. Isn't this beautiful? I just love this. Oh, beautiful corn. Chop it up. 
this is going to take me a little while and don't worry I'll, I'll cut around all this I mean it's only a three a three he, uh, three head uh, three row uh, chopper so but that's all we had but we'll get her done eventually isn't that just a beautiful sight though they really did a good job with the animation and everything yeah we chopped some corn that's just beautiful I love it And just like that, we have our first load of chaff. And because I'm a lonely little farmer, I have nobody to unhook and take care of wagons for me. We have to do it this way. Actually, I did this quite a bit. It just seems like I, I was alone a lot when I was doing this. You unhook it. And Take your, take this back. I might have made this a little tight in here for turning around. Let's see, I think I can make this swing without running over my crops. No, not quite. Come on. Cut this off and get it ready for the next. Eventually when I start making enough money I can start hiring a helper, maybe get an extra wagon and while he's chopping I can just haul wagons back and forth. Yeah, first load of chaff and we can get this uh get the TMR mixer going get these cows switched over from hay to TMR that'll uh, that'll help a lot with the milk production then we should start really getting some milk rolling in here uh, don't ask me how but that's the way this is set up uh, the chaff goes in the same silo that we put the grass in in theory we should be putting it in this blue one but eventually um, when I can afford it, show you how this works here. Uh, eventually, when I can afford it, there is a um, yeah, there we go. Where you mix uh, chaff, grass, and a little bit of corn, and the only place you can put corn is in that blue silo. So we don't want to put nothing else in it. But that's a little ways down the road. Let's get some chaff in here. There we go. <laughs> okay, we should be able to get that going right away here. Let's see, we want the grass, yeah, the haylage. Activate. Okay, this should, yeah, there we go. We're getting some mixed rations. Yeah, it's taking the chaff and grass and mixing it into total mixed ration. So eventually, yeah, that should be, yeah, that'll start mixing in here, and eventually we can feed it to the cows. By the way, you never ever do that in real life. You never walk away from when you're running this. Because if you walk away from it, that's when you plug it. <laughs> you have to watch it. Watch it very, very carefully. Mm. 
Well, I think you guys know the routine here. It's uh, basically chop, fill the box, dump it, rinse, repeat, <laughs> and it's going to take a little while. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably just kind of cut around all of this, but you get the idea. I can only do three rolls at a time, so it's going to be a little bit of a long, tedious project, but uh, I enjoy doing it. I don't know what it is. It's just so satisfying. Uh, again, this is one of my favorite parts of the game is chopping corn. I don't know why that is, but it is. So, yeah. You get the idea anyway. It'll just be a lot of this. Unhook, hook, fill. Empty, fill it again. And just like that, the corn is done. Nice clean field. I'll go get this unloaded and the next thing I gotta do is the soybeans. I'll have to rent the... Uh, rent that cheap little uh, harvester again to get that done. Not bad, not bad. We got a little over 300,000 a chaff. The total mix ration is, it's making it. So we're good there. How are the cows doing here? We gotta keep a real close eye on them. As soon as this gets to zero, I gotta switch them over to the TMR. Hopefully I can do it at just the right moment without their productivity dropping. So we got to keep an extra close eye on that. I guess I'll go look for a harvester for the soybeans. Get this parked first. Oh, I also had to borrow another five thousand dollars for uh, gasoline for or gasoline diesel fuel for the tractor, and uh, I did a little maintenance on the tractor too. It was getting kind of low. It was a little under power. She was really struggling on that hill, and that help with the hill a little bit. Definitely got to look into getting a bigger tractor here pretty soon. So let's see. We want to rent the cheapest of the cheapest. We'll get that old clunker again. It gets the job done. We need this. We might have just enough money to rent this stuff. And headers. Where are the headers? Oh. <laughs> there we go. I, I call that a brain fart. Where you just, you can't think. <laughs> see, these are both... That one's a little bit wider. How much does it cost to lease that? I'm not going to have enough money, am I? Oh, I did have enough money. Just enough. Okay. There's my old clunk clunk. She 
nothing to brag about, but she gets the job done. There. I got a little bit wider header this time. Hopefully that'll speed up the job a little bit. Soybeans harvested. You've seen me do this before. Plus this thing is noisier than heck, so I'm not going to talk much. So I'll see you when I get this all done. And just like that, the soybeans are done. Another nice clean field. Combine sure has an awful sound when you kit on you shut it off. Well, let's see. Cows are getting very, very close to switching over to TMR. Um, let's see how many so much soybeans do we get here? Uh, that yields not as good as the oats, but the price for that is usually much, much higher. So come June, we should get a pretty nice, decent paycheck for that little bunch. Uh, oats are not ready until December. I think the next step in our thing I should do here is let's send that back home. Let's see. Yeah, we don't need that till spring again, and hopefully by then I'll make enough money to. Money, money, money. Money is always the issue. Yeah, I think that's the next thing I better do. I think I'm gonna fill up the... Fill this up. So we are ready. So as soon as the hay hits zero, I can switch them over with very, very minimal starvation. Um, I probably should explain that, too. Um, let me get this filled up here quick first. There we go. Uh, let's get where it ain't so noisy here. Uh, normally with this mod, the stock mod, it'll only hold, I think, eight or 9,000. What I did was... Let's see, how do I explain this? Okay, what I... Let's see, the best way to explain this... Uh, here's the, the, the zip file that I downloaded for the TMR mixer. Um, you can use WinZip, WinWare, whatever. You'll unzip it. And what is the file? I, I, I think it's an XML file. And you download another program called Notepad++. And you open that. It takes a little while to find it. Anyway, you open that XML file. I think here it is, TMR XML. Somewhere in that file, you'll see it where it says Capacity. And originally right here, you can see the capacities for a silo. I could up these too, make them bigger. But I forgot to keep it somewhat realistic. Yeah, Realistic. So I upped the capacity for the forage from, I think it was 800,000 to 100,000. That's all I did. Saved it. 
and then I compress the file back again into a zip file and it, it works. So uh, you can do this with a lot of uh, mods and files you download, you know, if you take your time and kind of figure out what you're doing. I've made mistakes, you know, you can screw things up. That's where you're going to make a backup uh, copy of the file before you start messing with these numbers and screwing with things. Because, yeah, you can really screw things up if you don't know what you're doing. And half the time I don't know what I'm doing, but sometimes I get lucky. But, yeah, that uh, that silo works great now. So now I have a little... Uh, a little more room in there, so yeah, when I uh, come up to here, oops, I gotta go to the mixer part. Yeah, when I go to the mixer part where it says, uh, what, why is this not showing the, it should show how much is in there. There we go, uh, total mixed rations. Yeah, you can see how it's slowly climbing up. Yeah, that's how that works. And that just made more sense to me because this thing, this little uh, TMR cart, that can hold 30,000. Well, if that can hold 30,000, to my way of thinking, this show should hold 100,000 and the silos hold 400,000. So that just that just made more sense to me proportion-wise. This That 800,000 just seemed way too low of a capacity to me. So that's how that works. Anyway, I'm going to monitor the cows really closely here. I don't want to skip time too much. And as soon as it hits zero, I'm going to feed them some TMR. And the next thing I need to do is, I believe everything is harvested now. Ooh, what I do? Miss a couple little bitty, itty bitty pieces here? Ah, we'll let that slide. Uh, I think I can get one more, I can get some third crop, get one more cutting of grass off of this. Matter of fact, it says it's ready to harvest now, but I, I know there's another, listen, chainsaw. Uh, my mouse, I gotta get another mouse. Um, I know there's another stage because I don't see any little flowers on this grass here. That's how you know when the, that's ready is if you leave a little bit of the meadow grass, you'll see some red and yellow flowers, and that's when you know that it's at its full growth spurt. So there's definitely another growth stage here yet. I'm thinking November. I'll get one more good harvest off it, and then uh, we'll be good for the winter. Um, basically, it's just, uh, it'll be feeding the cows and uh, hauling the milk in most of the winter. Oh, except uh, January, December, January. Uh, I'll be definitely selling the oats because that'll be the best price for that. Yeah, December. I'll be selling the oats and uh, maybe even some of this hay. I might get a nice big trailer and I'll start hauling some of that hay out of there. Uh, I'll have to... Jeez, how do I do that? I think what I'll have to do is buy an auger. And see if I can stick it in the barn under that little sh hay chute there. Because once you put the hay in the hay mow, it turns into loose. It's no longer bales anymore. So I'll have to auger it out and haul it with a trailer. Or... I could do it the hard way. I suppose I could auger it out and just have the baler sitting here and bale it up. That'd take too much time, and I don't think that you get a better price for that. So I'd be stupid to do that, I think. So maybe I'll get a big trailer and do all that. Um, so yeah, let me uh, maybe fast forward time a little bit and keep a super close eye on the cows, and I'll get these switched over to TMR. Okay, yeah, it only took about two or three hours. Uh, they just just ran out of hay, went right to zero. And so far the productive is holding. So let's get these, let's get some TMR fed here. Oops. Well, I guess it was already filling. Okay. That'll make some milk. Nice. Yeah. Just enough to fill it about half full. Uh, eventually the, the, the mixer will catch up where I can keep this all nice and full and green. 
and eventually as I keep harvesting oats every year that should catch up and productivity should stay 100% eventually it's kind of strange I, I can I, I it's funny we're even making milk cuz they they really haven't reproduced yet we're still at 40 cows and they should should be more than 40 if they're reproducing and making milk but uh Either way, over time, eventually, we should have more cows, and milk production should continue to go up, and everything should be good. We got them full as we can get them. So, yeah, hopefully I can start making some decent money here so I can start paying off this debt. Just seems like debt, debt, debt. That's all I've been dealing with. What are we up to on debt right now? I think I'm a little over 300,000. I would start like mixed. Oh yeah, a lot of reds here. 330,000. So yeah, I was really going to get nervous if we started getting up around 4. But I'm thinking now that we actually got some crops in and the cows are starting to make milk. I'm, I'm thinking things are going to start coming around. So hopefully we'll see. It's a... It was a pretty tough challenge so far, but I'm trying. Well, crows. Bah, bah, bah. Um, I think it's about that time I call it a call it an episode. If I don't, they're gonna get too long. Uh, I've been trying to keep, like I say, I've been trying to keep it between a half hour and an hour. So so far, I've been doing pretty good with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll skip this again because you've seen me do this. Uh, it looks like I'm definitely gonna get another uh, crop off the grass here. Add it to the silo, fill that up nice and full. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you next time in the winter when I start selling some more stuff. And next spring will show up. I'll plant all that all all again and. Re and Basically, it's just a routine. It's a cycle. Just keep, you know, planting and harvesting and milking cows, and hopefully, I can start paying some of that debt off and and go from there. So, yeah. Till next time. Bye for now.